Hey guys, what's going on? It's Austin Swaim here with today's FanDuel Hurry Up, and we are getting you all set for some college basketball daily fantasy action. March Madness right around the corner. Big Dance begins on Thursday, and I'm going to give you three studs that I think you should fill out the top of your lineup with. These are the key guys you want to build around, and speaking of key, the obvious guy I got to go to is the hottest guy in college basketball right now. That is Keegan Murray. He's $9,400, obviously plays for Iowa, and the Hawkeyes just won the Big Ten tournament over the weekend. He is red hot. Seven straight games over over 40 FanDuel points, and there's a lot of talk about the 5-12 matchup being dangerous here for Iowa. Richmond just won the Atlantic 10, and they're hot as well. To me, I like that danger. It, I, Iowa here is a 10.5 point favorite. I want this game to stay close, so Murray gets all of his minutes in daily fantasy. Richmond had a great run, but they're still just 104th in defensive efficiency. The Gonzaga guys, like Chet Holmgren on this slate, they have massive blowout risk against a 16 seed. Keegan Murray should play most of his minutes, and to me, he's the top standout stud as a result. Moving on, as you proceed forward down the player pool, to me, Hunter Dickinson stands out at $8,400 for the Michigan Wolverines. The ultimate story in this game that you hear over and over again when it's being previewed is that Colorado State may not have enough size for Dickinson. I wholeheartedly agree. The seven foot one center had a little bit of an underwhelming season, but CSU's tallest player in their starting lineup in the Mountain West tournament was six foot nine. Dickinson is still one of the best bigs in the country. He struggled against Indiana, against Illinois. Those are top 25 teams in terms of defensive efficiency with really good size. CSU is not that. They had just the 83rd best defensive efficiency in the country this year. Expect Hunter Dickinson. Dickinson to grab double digit boards is a great floor and he could absolutely eat as far as scoring and the pain is concerned. I do like Michigan to prevail as two point favorites there as the 11 seed and it is one of the best daily in fantasy environments of the day. And given that it's one of the best environments, I want to stick there with David Roddy at $8,200 for the Colorado State Rams. Perfect target for daily fantasy in this one. Just a two-point spread, 138.5 point total is phenomenal, and it is as good of a DFS environment as you will get. Roddy himself has a 22% usage rate. That's really good for a college player, and importantly to me, he shoots 45.5% from outside. That is crazy upside for tournaments. Roddy could easily post 30 points in this game. I wouldn't discount his ability to stuff other stats too. 14 to 1 assist to turnover ratio, nine or more boards in three of his last five games. You may think that the level of competition jumping to the Big Ten here might be too much, but the Mountain West actually plays phenomenal defense. San Diego State, Wyoming, Boise State, those guys are all better in defensive efficiency than the Wolverines. Michigan was just 91st in defensive efficiency this year. This might actually be a better matchup for offense than he usually has in the conference. So I'm not worried about the level of competition here. And Dickinson and Roddy, I think, is the core mini stack that you want to have in your lineups when you're targeting on Thursday with, the, with all the fun that's about to proceed. <laughs>